so you Arizona, it's like as we're from the Midwest, obviously Flint and Michigan. Yeah. Um, what a difference! Like every day, even just getting up and looking out the window, like the difference from where you would have been just ten years ago, and the scenery. You mean Nevada? Yeah, it's just like night and day. Well, from from uh, this area, the is. Midwest. So Nevada. 100% while I was actually in Henderson, like on the very edge of Henderson, the very edge of like uh, the desert, Las Vegas. Though. Well, to be fair, because they want people to move there, they they put a lot of water that they shouldn't into their uh, landscape. So right. there is grass and there's green stuff there. You know, you like it's different to see like palm trees, obviously, because, you know, we're used to like fucking pine trees, pine <laughs> trees and like, you know, uh, evergreens. But uh it's it's very different to see palm trees as like regular bushes and whatnot and uh yeah that was different but here in arizona it's highly highly more desert like in casa grande there's actually a lot of farmland out here right Mm -hmm. so like they run irrigation it's actually pretty dope to see so like what they do is they have little little viaducts they've made basically ditches and they have them dammed off so like they have them in steps and then like they run the water like every day at a certain time or every other day at a certain time for irrigation Mm-hmm. And then there are hoses coming out of those into their irrigation channels for their fields. So, like, you'll be driving. It's nothing but fucking, like, light brown garbage because it's just sand, right? And fucking little little dirt devils, like little mini tornadoes coming up out of the ground and shit. And then all of a sudden, boom, lush green. <laughs> it's, it's, it's weird. It's weird. But uh, you, you get used to it, obviously. I mean, this is my second time I've been here. I was here last time for almost a year or roughly a year and i'm thinking the same this time so I well i'm somebody i don't i don't like i'd like leave in general so like the atmosphere and the environment of like arizona compared to like michigan it's like so night and day it's like for me it would be a culture shock i think the biggest thing is uh and it's always been the issue for me anyways especially when i was in vegas is uh when i got there i didn't really understand because people would be like oh well it's a dry heat like, fuck does that mean well those are the I, things i think about though that's an important thing to actually mm-hmm. come to understand of so like there's no fucking humidity yeah so like in michigan when i came back from vegas for being out there five years right i came back like i'd walk outside and you could feel the weather pushing on you like you could feel the air against you mm-hmm. because of the humidity like uh, out here you don't so like you get a foolish sense the humidity changes things drastically because like at home in wisconsin for example it can be 85 outside but the humidity is like 60 percent because i'm like right next to the fucking river so it feels like 100 you know what i mean oh, like, out here out here 120 feels like 95 so like it fools you into thinking it's not as hot as it really is so you'll be out there fucking hustling all of a sudden you're like almost faint because you need you need to drink water like continuously if you're outside but uh yeah the weather will fool you and fuck with you a little bit it's a different it's, kind of heat different kind of everything though well no humidity humidity changes everything like i had to go buy a little mini humidifier because even if i didn't run the ac like my sinuses are just whack the fuck out oh, yeah. so I, I run the mini humidifier the whole night and then I turn it off during the day. I turn the AC off during the day because I'm on the ground level. So it doesn't get crazy in here. It only gets like maybe 10 degrees hotter than it is when I leave. So it's not, it's not hardcore change. So I turn it back on, it gets down to 73 and I'm good. But outside it's like fucking still 98, 104, 105. Hmm. Excuse me. In July, I think. 120 125 and then it's going to be a little bit closer to that in august maybe a little hotter maybe 130 but like yeah you know you know it when you get in a vehicle with fucking leather seats you get your ass get burn anything that's skin that touches it, it, it hurts <laughs> I don't know. i've been so sick of winter and and here you get it like eight months of the year i'm, I'm starting to appreciate the heat we only get it so little well you know and it's extreme because we get that nasty humidity well it's a highly different right like so i just came from illinois i was in uh normal illinois for the rivian project and i had snow i want to say from november ish until pretty much march 
mark sometimes when it finally stopped and it's pretty balls out out there like you couldn't see anything like it was white out conditions mm-hmm. all the time so like it was terrible but uh going from that to out here there's no fucking snow it when it rains it doesn't really rain it like sprinkles for a little bit like you'll see dots on cars for where it's like kind of move the dirt and dust around <laughs> it's it's not it's not what you would expect i guess yeah but then no, that, uh, if you have sinus problems like your ass has asthma mm-hmm. it would fucking hurt you because it hurts me like it's not as bad here i think it's because there's a lot less vegetation here because they didn't bring things here specifically for the tourist type situation or for transient people in general but uh in nevada like you would go out in the morning there'd be a green layer of fucking dust it's basically pollen silt on your vehicle hasty like, I was, it sucked being out there like i had a problem every damn summer as soon as spring hit and fall hit i couldn't breathe i'd be hacking my face out like throw up and it was, it was terrible it was terrible 